Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Grizzly Bear Sims YouTube channel, and welcome back to another Grizzly Bear Sims tutorial. Thank you so much for returning. All right, so we're going to do a series on course play. Um, we're going to do this series in my style of no-nonsense tutorial uh, explaining, and so we're going to get started. So basically, what I want to do is I first want to introduce you to the course play website. Uh, this is the only official place where you should download CoursePlay. Uh, basically, if you click the download link here or if you go to ModHoster, uh, these are going to take you to the FarmSim 15 version. That's not going to work in FarmSim 17. Also, an important thing to note is that if you find CoursePlay on any website, any mod uh, uh, website out there with the exception of ModHoster, uh, especially if it's advertising it as FarmSim 17 version of CoursePlay, that's probably not going to work either, and it's probably going to cause you some problems. It's not the official supported version of CoursePlay. So what is CoursePlay? CoursePlay is a modification for Farming Simulator 17. It allows to have many different vehicles driving around autonomously and automatically, have them do field work, unload combines, drive fruit to selling points, fill a bunker or a trailer with a shovel, and much, much more. Okay, let's get this warning out of the way. Everybody, please pay attention. Warning, the developer version may and will contain errors, bugs, mistakes, and unfinished code. Chances are your computer will explode when using it, maybe even twice. If you have no idea what beta, alpha, developer, work in progress, etc., etc., means and entails, steer very clear. The course play team will not take any responsibility for crops destroyed, save games deleted, or baby pandas killed. You have been warned, and I will also go so far as to say that Grizzly Bear Sims, myself, will also not take any responsibility for any problems that you may have in using course play for Farm Sim 17. I'm only the messenger, don't shoot the messenger. Okay, so in my experience with course play for Farm Sim 17, I have yet to see any baby, canda, any baby pandas hurt, killed, or otherwise, so I think we're okay there. Um, but like any mod uh, for Farm Sim 17, or any mod for any game for that matter, you know, it does change the game and there could be problems. But again, my experience with course play, and I've been using course play since it was first released on their GitHub website probably over two months ago, is that it just continues improving each and every time, uh, each and every update, and I've not seen any major problems with this mod. Okay, getting that out of the way, how do you get course play? So basically, again, this is going to give you the version for FarmSim 15. Uh, I believe that's also the same for ModHoster. Basically, we want to get the code at GitHub. Uh, this is going to get you the developer version of course play and this is what is in beta work in progress alpha uh, development etc etc so what we want to do is from here it looks confusing it looks daunting but don't worry about it just go up here to the top of the page click clone or download download zip file okay so you're going to download the zip file i've done this a couple of times just testing everything out here we don't need this page anymore we'll just get rid of that Okay, so we want to pull over our downloads folder. So I'm using Microsoft uh, Windows 10. Um, so your mileage may vary if you're on a different operating system. But basically everything I download, it comes down to my downloads folder. Now, as you can kind of tell, I like to kind of keep things organized. I like to keep my desktop clean. Um, so having said that, um, I have cr I also like to keep my downloads folder clean as well. As you can see, I don't have a lot of clutter in there. So basically what I have done for the sake of simplification, because here we go, this is important for you to understand. If you download course play and you take this zip file and place this zip file in your mods folder, course play is not going to work. Let me repeat that. If you simply download course play like we did from the GitHub website, take this zip file and place it in your mods folder, course play is not going to work. Okay? So what we have to do is we have to extract and rezip what we want in this folder or in this file. So I've created another folder on my desktop called course play. I'm going to open this up, move this over here. I'm going to simply take this folder or this file, drag it over here to course play master. I'm done with my downloads folder. I'm going to move this over to the left over here. I'm going to open up the course play master and I'm going to do extract all. And I'm going to let it extract into everything there. And it has done so. 
Okay, so what we have left is we have this folder. We're going to drill into this folder and we're going to see IMG all the way down to vehicles.lua. So we need all of this in a new zip file. Okay, so if you click on the top one, if you do control A, that will select everything in the folder just like that. And we right click on something and we do send to compressed zip folder just like that. There we go. We have a brand new zip file that's been created. It does take on the name of something else, so do pay uh, special attention to this. We want to go ahead and rename it. I use the following naming convention, which is FS17 underscore course play 5. That's how I name my course play. We hit enter. We want this file here, FS17 course play, and we want to place that into our mods folder. So, for our convenience sake, here is our mods folder. Now you notice I already have it installed. Um, again, this is an older version. This is a newer version. So we're going to take FS17 course play 5, drag, drop, and say we want to replace the file in the destination. Bada bing, bada boom. We now have course play, uh, course play 5 over here in our mods folder. We can get rid of this. We can get rid of this. We can close our mods folder. We can get rid of this course play folder that's on our desktop so that we keep a nice clean uh, image here. Got to love the JCB uh, pulling the JOSC in there on Lawfold. So now we're ready to verify that course play 5 is actually in our game. So let's go ahead and launch Farming Simulator 17. And we're going to the Sosnovka, Sosnovka test map. We want to come here and we want to verify that Course Place 5 is in the downloads. We click Start and we let the map load. We click Start again and here we are. So this is what you're going to be presented with and this is, you know, sort of the key to knowing that Course Play was installed correctly. You're going to be prompted, do you want the fields to be scanned automatically? Say yes. And also, do you want your workers to earn wages of $1,507.50 an hour? Now, this is going to be completely up to you. Uh, it doesn't affect the functional aspects of course play. But when course play is running and your AI are, is operating and doing things in the field, if you say yes, you're going to pay them $1,507.50 an hour. I'd like to know where I sign up for that job. Um, but I like to keep things realistic. Obviously, if you're going to have hired workers doing work uh, on your field, you're going to be paying them. If you don't want to do that, then click no. I'm going to click yes. And there we go. Course Play 5 is going to now scan the fields. We're going to walk over to a tractor, any tractor, it doesn't matter. And again, this is just a Sosnovka base map here. We're going to get in. Um, we'll, well, we can't turn it off because I didn't hit that setting. Um, so, how do we verify if course play is running? If you right click with your mouse, it will bring up the course play control panel. Basically, we have no courses loaded, we have nothing. This is basically just proving that course play is working. We're running version 5.01.00089. This is again the developer version, it's beta, it's a work in progress, uh, however, you want to uh, consider that. So, in this episode, we discussed what course play is. We discussed how to get course play. We discussed how to unzip it, how to install it, how to verify that it's in your game. And for the next episode, we will tackle additional tasks within course play that can help you on your virtual farm. I hope this has helped you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave the questions in the comments section underneath this video, and I will do my best to try to help you. Um, one of the most common mistakes in um, in installing course play is not uh, is not unzipping the original folder that is downloaded from the github website and extracting the information that you need from that so I've covered that in this video so if you if you report and comment back to me and tell me that you've downloaded course play and course play doesn't show up in your mods list doesn't show up in your game then I'm probably going to refer you back to this video to watch it a second time and to pay very careful attention to the information that I talk about with regards to unzipping the original file 
and zipping it back up and placing that into your mods folder. That's most likely where your mistake is going to be. Either that or you're not running a current version of the game and so you need to take all the available patches up to the current point which happens to be 1.4.4 but of course that will change as this video ages so thank you again for watching please return again for another grizzly bear sims tutorial especially another grizzly bear sims tutorial on course play thank you so much for watching take care now god bless you all bye bye